Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, today, the 7th of December, Holy Mother the Church calls us to the memory of Saint Mary Joseph Rossello. It was in the little seaport of Abisola that Mary Joseph came into this world on May 27th, 1811. In a truly Christian family and one richly blessed with children, she was only 16 years of age, she entered the third order. She had spent 17 years in the service of wealthy but childless couple when she earnestly desired to enter a convent. But she was refused because she was not able to pay the dowry and the family who was taking care of her, that family was also not ready to leave her because they saw a heir to their property, to their family in this little girl. It was then that the Bishop of Savona, he knew of a special talent that Mary Joseph had, a special talent of gathering the young girls to God. So therefore, this bishop bought her building uh, and he bought a uh, uh, few young girls together along with her uh, to uh, be trained by her and to teach. So slowly, this small group of teachers came to be known as the Daughter Institute of the Daughters of Mercy. In the year 1837, they were organized into Institute of Daughters of Mercy, which was this later, this band of teachers became the congregation. And that's how, dear brothers and sisters in Christ, Mary Joseph administered the office of superior during the space of 40 years, she placed her community under the protecting care of Our Lady of Mercy and of St. Joseph. A favorite motto of hers, as was heard by her every time, was the hands should be at work, the heart with God. Her own experience taught her a lesson and so she received good girls into her community without a dowry. Her love for the sick sisters was expressed in the statement, we must look upon the sick sisters as our most reliable support. They be their patients, their suffering and their prayers, maintain their hours and in fact the whole institute since they seek uh, obtain for us from the Father of Mercy the blessing of heaven. The community has grown in a remarkable manner. There are more than 3,000 sisters in 200 houses spread all over Italy, Argentina and the United States. Mother Mary Joseph departed from the life on December 7th in the year 1880. She was beatified in 1938 and canonized in 1949. And then from there, uh, her body is what continuously uh, it was popular the devotion and her remains were incorruptible and uh, uh, acknowledged classic on the bodies of saints that did not undergo decomposition of the body and the incorruptible body of the saint is still now found in the mother house of the con congregation so dear brothers and sisters as we celebrate saint mary joseph rosello today Holy Mother, the Church calls us to the memory of this great saint whose body is still there as it was, incorruptible, as a sign of God's love towards us. And even a heart, uh, her heart was removed and uh, uh, it bled, real blood bled out of that heart and even that blood is kept safe. What does it mean? It means that a life that is lived for God is always rewarded. God bless you all.